Rated M for Mature. Is your mind on holiday getaway destinations this summer? Looking to avoid the hassle of restrictions? Why not consider the war-torn, post-zombie apocalypse locales of Italy? Here are five must-see locations for the Zombie Army 4 Dark Tourist. Hello and welcome to the weirdest holiday brochure you're ever going to browse. Because it's been a while, hasn't it, for most of us, since we got away from it all to explore a change of scenery and sample the local culture. And while going away on a traditional holiday still isn't a seamless experience right now, we propose a different approach. Stay with us on this. This will sound weird, but why not take a holiday in Zombie Army 4? I mean, that's what games are at their very core, imaginary places. And when you load one up, you leave your disbelief on the main menu screen and immerse yourself in an arrangement of polygons and lighting effects cleverly arranged to look like a place. Well, you're taking your mind on a little holiday there, aren't you? OK, good, so we've definitely established that then. Well, perhaps you're also familiar with dark tourism, the concept of visiting grim and macabre locations to experience something that's, hopefully at least, totally different from your everyday life and that might even change your perspective on things. Great, well, you can see where I'm headed with this, can't you? Zombie Army 4 is a dark tourist's dream. Within its thankfully imaginary world are a number of perfect holiday activities that won't just feed your Insta, but will also feed a legion of decaying reanimated chaps if you're not careful. So get your annual leave booked, irresponsibly take your kids out of school, and consider these five destinations for a summer holiday the whole family will not only never forget, but will also never forgive you for. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell to catch new videos from us as soon as they drop. We appreciate every one of you who's already subscribed. Thank you, you lot. Now, on with the show. From there, it is but a short distance to your final destination. Cruises are a nice idea, aren't they? A floating city where you're never more than five minutes gentle stroll from an all-you-can-eat buffet or a sun lounger. Problem is, looking at the open ocean can get a bit samey after a few weeks, which is where river cruises come in. Like this one from uh, Death Canal. Don't worry about the name, it's just the name. Now, while you're on board this dilapidated tugboat being ferried along by a terrified Dead War survivor, you'll get to take in some of the classical architecture and atmospheric tenement blocks of Italy. Every dour town square drenched in gore just screams culture. Every terrifying choke point when said knackered boat stalls and the zombies start wading out to you, a future anecdote you'll all be laughing about years down the line. Oh, and there's a bit of local wildlife on show. We'd advise booking now, though. The crowds do get quite big during peak season. If you're not a water baby, but you are a nature lover, what better way to spend your hard-earned time off than in Zombie Zoo? Again, just a name, don't worry about that. And look, nothing against cockatiels and baboons, but you've seen one, you've seen them all, am I right? So, by contrast, this is a zoo with some pretty rare exhibits, a collection of wildlife that makes Jumanji look like the Jungle Book. And Steve Batchel's Deadly 60 look like the Jungle Book. Buying animal feed to give to the various beasties can be a real racket in many zoos, but you don't have to worry about that here. You're already bringing more than enough in that regard just by being here. Oh, that's adorable. For the thrill seekers who find a river cruise or a day at the zoo a bit pedestrian, we've got an adventure holiday package on special offer next. Hands up who fancies a blimp ride, because Dead Zeppelin's taking bookings right now. Hands up. Guys? Is this thing on? While we have gently suggested that calling your tourist trap Dead Zeppelin, when it's already a mode of transport whose prevailing image is the Hindenburg disaster, might be putting some of the more retiring holidaymakers off, well, you can't fault the views up here. They'll even let you in the cockpit. Such power. OK, so maybe Dead Zeppelin isn't for you. Maybe you're afraid of heights. Yes, that's probably it. We've got just the thing for you then, a caving expedition. You can't get much more the opposite of up in the air than tunnelling down into the bowels of the earth and exploring a side to nature's beauty that we don't often get a peek of. Remember to bring those miners hats with the torches on them because it's dark down here in uh, deeper than hell. Seriously, that's what we're calling it. I'm trying to sell holidays here. Save on UV lotion and bug spray by getting away from the sun and exploring a huge subterranean drill built by the occult. Never saw that on Wish You Were Here, did you? 
a truly unique memory for all the family if you can find your way back out past the locals. They're a bit uh, elbows out around these parts. If you've made it this far and still haven't booked one of our holidays here at Zombie Army 4 Resort, you're obviously holding out for something extra special. Something out of this world? We've got just the thing for you, come this way. Holiday makers who venture to Chapter 3 of Death Canal and keep a keen eye will find the opportunity to sample a tiny bit, just the littlest morsel, of the upside down, Stranger Things slightly lugubrious alternate dimension. This little easter egg is one of many horror references scattered throughout Zombie Army 4, so we offer this particular package as part of a whole sightseeing tour, including that ominous balloon from IT and all the creepy Annabelle dolls you could ever hope to wake up in the middle of the night and find standing over you. Right, better start packing those suitcases then, eh? Let's see, medkits, check. High caliber sniper rifle, check. Two other firearms plus explosives, check all the holiday essentials there. Good job this holiday is to an imaginary place or we'd have a devil's own job getting this through security. Anyway, this concludes your guide to being a dark tourist in Zombie Army 4 this summer, but this really is just a starting point. There are tons of sinister locations to delve into, easter eggs to recognise and go, huh, and sternly beautiful vistas to admire in among all the carnage. Let us know your favourite locations in the game in the comments below. Leave us a like if you had fun here and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Catch you in the departure lounge.